John, hi. Thanks for your time. Uh, we met finally in Kiev, uh, yes. you know, and you, uh, you're an extraordinary man actually for me because you, as I know, you have been living here for many years. You, you stayed during the first hours of Russian invasion uh, in Ukraine and you, you, you feel, you, f you remember this atmosphere actually. Yes. What was the 24th of February for you? For Americans who live in Ukraine, for the for the inhabitants who live in Kiev, actually, you know. Right. Well, it was the decision to stay because you know I'm here with my wife. Yes. And so you know we had a sick dog, mm -hmm. and the problems at the borders we could see, and Kiev was emptying out, and it was just very hard to travel. Mm -hmm. And I woke up to work. On February 24th, mm -hmm. after we had celebrated my birthday at a Gogol ballet, and we just said, well, let's kind of see what happens. Did you believe in war? I did not believe in the war. But I did not believe that Putin was going to was going to do as this. As well as I, or you don't believe. Right. I, we, we listened to the U.S. Department of State saying, leave, leave, yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. Things are dangerous. We said, he's not going to do anything. He's mm -hmm. just going to make it look like he's going to do something. And then we wake up to the announcement that, the new reality. And, and, th and then we hear the, you know, the missile attacks or whatever they were at that point. Um, and you and decided to stay. And we decided to stay because we just didn't feel like running, mm -hmm. you know, and my wife is a very strong woman. So she did not, she was also like, I'm not running from them. Whatever happens, happens. We went to the church, lit candles, prayed. And decided to stay. I know that you could contrib contributed a lot in the information uh, sector, in the humanitarian sector, as an ordinary citizen. Right. Uh, what exactly you you, you did during last uh, year and a half? I mean, how you contributed? How you help us? Okay, so I, in the beginning, I helped out with with some public relations within Ukraine, mm -hmm. with messaging, how to develop messaging for the United States. Mm -hmm how to um, reach out to people. Mm -hmm. Also, I did some editing, some copywriting, and- It was volunteer was, work, actually. It was yeah. volunteer work, it was all volunteer work. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, I wrote about my experience, mm -hmm. you know, as an individual to my people in the mm -hmm. United States and gave interviews and, and things of that. I mm -hmm. did a, we did a bunch of interviews in the beginning of the war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and just tried to let people know what was you know, really happening as opposed to what they're watching on CNN or Fox mm -hmm. News or whatever, mm -hmm. so, you know, from a real perspective and then make connections with a lot of volunteers. Like, act, yeah, this is actually my question about the volunteers. Uh, I saw your activity in Facebook. Right. You network a lot of people. I know that, you know, the guys from Portugal, from all the European countries, the former security experts. They, so you, you you created a, 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 a wide range of pro-Ukrainian activists, actually. Yes, yes, yes. I, I work with a bunch of people through, throughout, from, from mm -hmm. Sweden to Norway, to the United States, to Canada, to Australia, to mm -hmm. Other uh, to Germany, to Portugal, to Italy, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just I just kind of connect people when you know, somebody says, I can't get this. I can't find that. I say, well, I know somebody who might be able to. I can't always guarantee that it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I can help people make connections. So my strength through this has been making connections for other people, not for myself, but for other people. John, connections. Connections is very important, yes. especially with Americans. Yes. You know that uh, I, I, I took I, I took a lot of interviews with different experts and they said that Andre, the ukrainian issue topic will be very, would be very important for the next presidential elections yes my question maybe will sound a little bit silly about how we can strengthen the relations between americans and ukrainians because the other says look our relations is beautiful we have ideal relations however i feel that the public opinion uh, in in the united states is quite specific so what we have to do to strengthen relations between societies Okay, um, America is a regional place mm -hmm. with regional uh, tastes. Ukraine, mm -hmm. also regional. People are very different. Lviv is different than Kyiv, Kharkiv, Odessa, Chernivtsi. Mm -hmm. All these places are very different. Just like in you know, Chicago is not New York. You know, Los Angeles is not Dallas. Yeah, and Kyiv is not Odessa. Right, right. So. <laughs> 
what you really have to do is, is appeal on a regional level mm -hmm. and find that those 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 connections that, that that bring people together like cave is really good for people like on the east coast mm -hmm. new york philadelphia boston washington you know that 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 you know and maybe even get some of the the, the cities themselves to make connections mm -hmm. in the United States between, Sister, between cities yeah, or, or, yeah. Or, or regions that share common values or common enterprises or common agriculture, mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, and civil then society. civil society and then and then the religious issue, because, you know, Amer a lot of Americans, even though a lot of them don't go to church anymore, they're mm -hmm. still very religious. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the religious connection is very good. And then even you have a lot of minorities mm -hmm. in in, in Ukraine. Ukraine, yeah. So let the minorities reach out to American minorities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, before the, before our interview, you told me a lot about the uh, American way of life, about the American journalists who are here, who yeah. are trying to understand also Ukraine better. Right. So don't you think that the future of Ukraine depend on the what we see now, the real construction of political nation began last year right what do you think about this the future oh, yes. of this country? well the the um U ukraine started for me really the ukraine that exists now is the one that started on february 24th mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and the future is a transparency mm -hmm. that that's essential if you don't make it transparent people aren't going to trust you mm -hmm. you know you know things are going to slip through the cracks but yes, transparency is the most important. And the future of Ukraine lies in its people. Mm -hmm. and, and the American people know that it lies within its people. You know, and, and so more civil activism within Ukraine is important. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and the oligarchs have to go away uh, in order for Westerners to trust mm -hmm. Ukraine. And so I think that, that, that there's a huge amount of potential in this country and that it's going to succeed because it wants to succeed and it's determined to succeed and maybe it feels like it's its last chance to succeed mm -hmm. uh, are you going to stay in ukraine <laughs> i am going to stay in ukraine my future is in ukraine i came here because my wife lived in the united states for 20 years and so i thought it was like she gave up her family and her life for 20 years so it was my turn to come and i see nothing but but good potential in Ukraine, mm -hmm. and I love the country, and I love the people. I really haven't, I haven't seen the Carpathians. I haven't seen Crimea. I haven't seen Odessa. I haven't seen Kharkiv. I haven't seen, you know, the the forests up north. You know, like I, I barely even touched it because, you know, once I got comfortable, the war started. Well, the second war started. The the full scale invasion started. Mm -hmm. So, I I have yet to even travel, and, and walk around the cities and, and countryside in Ukraine. And so I, you know, I, I feel like I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of work and thanks for your uh, staying. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your network. Thanks for your humanitarian volunteer uh, activity. I think together we can do a lot of things, you know, yeah. we need you and uh, uh, you need us actually. <laughs> we do. Thank you. Thank you.